Ladies and gentlemen, it's never been a better time to be a Civ fan. The Frontier Pass has been absolutely incredible, and Vietnam and Monopolies and Corporations mode are just the two latest amazing things that got released this DLC. You know what also got released in this DLC pack? Patch notes. You know who didn't read the patch notes? This guy. You know who's figuring out everything in real time as he records this video? This guy, let's hop into the game. I hope you enjoy it. Let's play Vietnam with Monopolies and Corporations mode. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, VB is in the house, ready to play my first game ever as Vietnam and my first game ever with the Monopoly Money GameStop Stonks mode. Both of these got released yesterday. I was at work yesterday, so I didn't get the chance to play. But today we got this and we got a live stream and it's going to be a good time. If you would like to play along with us for this game, all the information you need is in our Discord server, which there is a link in the description for. There are two channels that'll interest you. The first one has all the YouTube game information, so it'll have the seed and everything, and it'll have a save file. So if you want to play on Deity, all you got to do is load up the save file. If you want to change the difficulty, all you have to do is enter the game information that's there, and you should be able to play along with us. And there's a spot in there for you to post your save as you go along, as you're playing the game, after the game, whatever. You can just just hop into that server and chat about the game as well. We're also spending most of the weekend streaming Civilization on Twitch. We have a lot of new content to get through. We got Vietnam, we got Monopolies and Corporations, we got Kublai Khan. There's a lot of stuff we got to get to, so I'll be streaming a lot this weekend. That link is in the description below. You guys will be watching this Saturday morning. If it's Saturday evening, the day this video comes out, we are also giving away a copy of the Frontier Pass on Steam because we hit a thousand followers on Twitch. So if you want to hop into the live stream and check it out for the first time, there's never been a better first time, and that link is in the description as well and that'll be on the evening that this video is being released now let's talk about vietnam a little bit very very interesting sieve not gonna lie this was my greatest least hype to most hype jump based on the trailer uh, to when i saw like the actual details of what she did so drive out the aggressors also this music is just let's just sit with it the way it pans right ear to left ear, absolutely incredible. Drive out the aggressors, plus five combat strength for units fighting in rainforest, marsh, or woods, plus one if they begin their turn there. So that applies to every, all woods, marsh, rainforest for the whole map. Double these bonuses if the tile's in your territory. So getting 10 combat strength and two movement uh, on these tiles in your territory is ridiculous, and we will be looking to take advantage of that. Very difficult sieve to attack. If we have lots of rainforest and woods and marsh around, we'll be hard to attack for the AI, which is awesome. The Nine Dragon River Delta, the name of my high school band, but also all land, all land specialty districts can only be built on rainforest, marsh, or wood. So we got to keep that in mind. Districts, only the specialty ones, so campuses, theater squares, commercial hubs, etc., go on uh, rainforest, marsh, or woods. Things like aqueducts, you're still good to put on your normal tiles. Receive the following yields for every building on those features: culture in woods, science in rainforest, production in marsh. What's what's important to keep in mind here is that it's per building, and I've never played Vietnam, so I don't actually know how it works in practice, but based on what this says, if you put a campus down on a rainforest, and that gives you extra science in rainforest, they'll give you plus one science for the library, plus one for the university, and plus one for the research lab. So it's additive depending on how many buildings are on the woods, rainforest, or marsh tile. And then maybe my favorite ability of the whole game, you guys know how much I love planting woods. Woods can be planted with the medieval fair civic just chef's kiss this is the this is my favorite ability in the game i don't care what anyone says this is this is vb i have like a few things planting woods oh just incredible love it absolutely love it our unique unit is the Voi Chen, Vietnamese unique medieval era ranged unit, so it comes in just a little bit into the game here. They can move after attacking, that's a good thing. They have additional movement, that's two good things. These units are also stronger when defending, that's three good things. They're more expensive, that's one bad thing. And they have greater sight, that's four good things. There are four good things and one bad thing, so it's a net of three good things. I, I we'll, we'll, we'll try and use these bad boys at some point. And then we got our unique encampment here the th i don't even you know what you know what i'm just gonna stop here i'm just gonna call it our unique encampment someone in the comments can tell me how to pronounce it 
A district unique to Vietnam, which replaces the encampment, plus two culture for each adjacent district. So we want to put it kind of like a government plaza with districts surrounding it. Plus two culture for, oh, sorry. After flight is research, receive tourism equal to the culture. Cool. This district does not require population. That's great. You can build it any, any city, anytime. It's cheaper to build, also great. Cannot be built adjacent to the city center. Works like a regular uh, encampment in that sense. And is not a specialty district, which means it does not have to go. Only specialty district have to go on rainforest marsh or wood so we can build these bad boys on any tile as long as it's not around the city center and then we can we can figure out the rest from there with regards to setting up the map not is not much is too complicated we have secret societies heroes and uh, the new monopoly gamestop stonks mode on and so those are the three game modes we loaded up a regular size pangea but knocked two sieves off to keep the same amount of sieves as a small map just to give everyone a little bit of space otherwise i don't know what's going to happen i don't know anything about uh, monopolies and corporations mode i didn't even read the patch notes i want to hop in just fresh and just to do this for the first time with you guys so let's let's get rolling here I think I'm going to want Void Singers early on. So we're going to go on a little Goody Hut uh, scouting expedition. I'm going to settle on the sugar here. Now, I don't know if settling on resources has any kind of negative effect when it comes to having a monopoly on those resources for... Um, secret or for monopolies and corporations mode, but I'd rather sit, I'd rather sit on the food and work a two-two tile than sit on the two-two tile and work the food. I think. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do is settle on the sugar here. Also gives us something to trade early on for some gold, so we're gonna do that. Worth mentioning at this point, I've also made this a wet map, so we have more marsh, woods, rainforest, and all of those fun things that we need. Our capital city is named Bose's Palace. Thank you so much, Bose Theus, for being a channel member. If you guys are interested in being a channel member, it costs like two bucks a month. Maybe one day we'll be able to hire a YouTube video editor, which would make my life a hundred times easier because I suck at editing and it takes up so much time. So that's what we're gunning towards. But Bose is a channel member. So our capital city for this game is Bose's Palace. Thanks, Bose. Link in the description if that uh, interests you. Irrigation looking pretty good here early on, especially with a resource to farm. This resource isn't on woods or marsh or rainforest, so we, we can't put a district here anyway. The only thing is you might want to put your fan here, right, on your encampment here, two tiles away, and then put some districts around it. So maybe farming this isn't a great idea, but we do have the irrigation boost if we want the sugar. We definitely want the spices. Also, animal husbandry is great here because we might want to get a toa in our second city. So we'll just, we'll just play with it a little bit. I think animal husbandry is probably the best option for now, though. We're going to grab a scout as usual just to, just to look at the land. Just to look at the land. Double camps. This would be a great toa city. Not on fresh water. I mean, if we find Mohenjo Daro, that'll be fine. Oh, great tiles, though. This isn't fresh water either, hey? And you can't settle this. Oh, so you'd have to settle up on this tile. That's a bit hard to buy out all these tiles, but man, this is good land here. Hopefully we can find Mohenjo. Mohenjo was one of the city-states that I put on the list, so hopefully it's here. We got Geneva. That's good, too. So we do have the extra science, which is awesome first meet and the quest is trigger the inspiration for military tradition let's head and find out what that is clear a barbarian outpost so that should be easy enough to do at some point here i'm gonna shoot for void singers although the longer we go into the game without getting it the harder it is to get void singers it's really something i don't like about how secret societies work is how hard it is to get some of them over others in some games but for now we are gonna go for pingala to start in Bose's palace. A little bit of science, a little bit of culture early to help us catch up is always nice. Hunza as well, and that's also a first meet, plus two gold with a quest to train an archer. All right, so we got a few easy-ish quests here, and I'm seeing more luxury resources, which we definitely want to capture for the, the Monopolies mode. Found a goodie hut, hoping that's Void Singers. I think we're going to settle a second city up here and then hope to find Mohenjo. Although now that I can see this river here, there is a tile straight here that might be good to settle to. Get a 2-2, get the silk right away, kind of buy out these tiles so the city-states can't grow into them. I think this might be a best of both worlds settle just to take up the land before the city-states do, so we might do that as our second settle. ruh -roh. Mr. Scouty Boy's got a problem. Ooh, we discovered Hamiko and we got Void Singers. 
and a free scout. Holy smokes. Holy guacamole, ladies and gentlemen. This this game is just is just zooming. Shall be going for our early fans, though. I don't know if we want to go culture or domination this game, but I think getting these early is probably smart. Although we do need irrigation. Do we need mining for anything else? Nah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's go uh, pottery then. It's a good time to start planning our districts as well. We have some pretty bad appeal, but that won't be the case for the whole game. So Earth Goddess might be good as a pantheon, just because we can get rid of some of these rainforests later and chop them out for woods. What do we get? The rainforest boost is science, which is interesting because that, that leads me to believe you don't really want to get rid of it. Plantation pantheon looking good too for a little bit of extra culture, especially because we certainly don't want to get rid of the resources or build on them or um, settle on them or anything like that. And so that's probably good. I'm one, I don't know how corporations mode works. So if I put a plantation down and then build an industry, I think it's called, does that take away the, I have so many questions. Well, we'll cross the Pantheon bridge when we get to it. All right. So foreign trade boost means another continent, which is great. More. Ooh, interesting. Oh, we can put a campus on this marsh. Yeah, sign me up for that. Cool, 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 cool. That'll be a little extra production in a campus, which is interesting. All right. This is a fascinating map. I'm starting to think we'll want to put our than here. I mean, maybe here is the better spot. Or here is the better. Yeah. I think you want to do it here. Which means we can get the rice. So you put your than here. One second. I'm going to plan this out and then I'll get back to you. It's not perfect and I'm just spitballing, but I think having your two Thans here with a bunch of districts kind of interlaid between them, a government plaza that hits a campus, a commercial hub, and a theater square fairly early on is really nice. This will get two, four, six, eight, ten culture. This will get two, four, and then hopefully a couple more districts if we settle a city up here. I was thinking a Petra city up here would make a lot of sense. You can come and settle maybe up on this tile or over on this 2-2. Two, two. You'd have some good production to work the Petra, and you'd have enough Petra tiles to make that worth it so that's in play as well i don't think we're gonna get the pyramids so i won't rush the pyramids maybe um but i think if once you put a third city here around this than as well we're gonna get a lot of extra culture just from these uh these thans being so close together free builder yo this is sick this is awesome um let's buy this tile normally we'd buy a builder right so let's just buy the tile chuck a farm down on the rice that farm is going to boost irrigation, which means we can head straight there and grab the sugar nice and early and the bananas nice and early too. This might be a, a Pantheon or this might be a, oh, and Coco up here. I'm feeling this. This might be a, uh, a culture for uh, plantation Pantheon game. Tamar. Whoa. Hello. How are you Tamar? But to me, okay, so tomorrow's gonna have to cross the desert to come in and rile us up. Um, your delegation did not cause an incident. Well, that's good. I, I try to train my delegations to not cause incidents. And we got a third scout, hey? I mean, I'm pro scouting. So let's keep up the good work. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna have a tough time being a real problem. I'm gonna bring this warrior back though. With three scouts, I do not need my warrior to be scouting. Um, we've seen enough of the world. We've got the void singers we want. That's perfect. So that's been boosted. Next up is really just, what are we gonna do for plantations? I wouldn't mind this camp here as well. Although it's gonna be a minute for the camp. I think this is a good Toa map. I don't think this is a great Toa map. And so we might have to be a little bit careful about how we, we do this just because it's in the second city. I think we come up here for the sugar and the bananas. We did see that barb camp, so I'm gonna grab Discipline here, and then I think we're gonna grab God King in to grab our Pantheon. That's usually always the better choice uh, over urban planning if you don't have another source of faith. The other thing I don't know either is how the Preserves District works at all. I don't even know when we get it. I haven't even looked at that yet. So this whole, the whole thing might change. If you're, if you're looking at this video right now going like, oh my God, the Preserves, I don't know how it works yet. So we're gonna figure it out together in this game. Oh, that's a friend. All right, Mr. Friend, be nice. Whoa, Kublai Khan! Yo! Yay. Ooh, the Mongolian version, though. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna enjoy your presence on this map. 
and you're not going to murder me. Deal? Deal. I think that's a great deal. Does Kublai Khan think it's a great deal? I suppose we'll find out. Oh! It's the pyramids! Man, alive! Just a sneaky pyramid style. I don't think we can get it because this city's got to go here. I mean, it doesn't have to go there. It could sneak... I mean, you could still build it in this city. I just don't think we'll get it. If you get that, though, everything changes. I mean, if you settle here... Okay, I'm going to tack this out for the pyramids play. Give me a second here. I mean, that's what it looks like with the pyramids play. And now that we know guitar or not guitars, but Tamara's up here. Do we really want to be trying the Petra stuff? Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This, this feels like it has so much potential. Double theater squares next to the pyramids. I think I might try it. I think I might try it. Build a quarry. Can we get there quickly? Can we get there quickly? Build a quarry. Yeah, right. Oh. Not in a city we have, though, is the issue. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to build a quarry. That is problematic. And we only have four turns to decide. All right, I have four turns to decide. I'm going to decide over those four turns. All right, please. Oh, no, he took the goodie hut. What a turd. I was going to say, please be the boost for uh, pyramids. Yeah, we're not going to be able to build a quarry. Oh, boy. This is... This is tough. This is tough. I mean, you could buy out to this tile and build a quarry. God, don't make me do this. I know no one's making me do this. This is an awful idea. 50. So, I mean... Take about 110 gold. I'm going to do it, aren't I? Yo, he's got a Vesuvia settle. What a lucky duckling. I mean, that's danger. I want to settle this side of the Vesuvius for sure. Man, we're going to get that notification any second now. Any second now that uh, Hattusa's here too. Oh, double cocoa under the volcano. You know what? Who wants the sugar? Give me five gold for 30. How much just straight up gold will you give me? Uh, five for 30. 150 gold. But she won't just give me 150 straight up. She won't even give me 100 straight up. If I can just get that equivalent in straight up cash. So he'll do 100. Oh, I'll do 150. 125? No. He's got Beard of the Evangelist? What is this guy on? This guy's lucky. Do I take the 100 gold now though and buy a... Probably. Yeah. Alright, 100 gold. Still two turns for irrigation. 80. So next turn we can buy out the quarry. Yeah, we're doing it. We're going for it. This would be the biggest waste of time if we don't get it, but I'm gonna rush it a little bit here. All right, we're gonna need mining to actually build the quarry, so that's the next thing we gotta go for. And then we'll head up here and make the quarry. Oh, jeez. Guys, this is a terrible plan. This is an awful plan, and I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm sticking with it. We're committed now. I'm sticking with it. I'm going to grab a monument quick so when we go into Void Singers, I have an old god obelisk ready to go. I'm going to grab open borders with Tamar. I doubt she's going to come and straight up kill us. Oh, I can't yet. Never mind. Just kidding. I can't. Two turns till we can get the quarry, baby. Oh, God. What are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, you're going to be building the pyramids really quick, aren't you? Grab a monument. Need that culture, baby. Several Torres? Yo! Why are none of these things near me? I love Torres. <gasps> Torres is so good. We're definitely not able to settle Torres. I mean, Tamar only has seven science. We might be able to kill Tamar. <laughs> Alright, so Cleo's got Torres. Oh, this is ridiculous. She didn't even settle close enough to it to get the... Okay, well. Okay, well, Egypt. I don't need to be friends with you yet. You're too far away. We are going to improve three tiles, so we'll just head into here because that'll be boosted in right now, actually. There we are. Done and done. Eight turns till we can start on the pyramids. This is just a terrible idea. I'm not even sure why I'm doing it, but I'm committed to it now. The triple salt. This guy's going to have a salt, what's it called, monopoly. Hello, Scotland. Mohenjo! Now we might want Hamani to go on H Mohenjo. Having Mohenjo means you don't need to settle on water to have the full housing benefit of it. 
which is good. That's a good ability, and we're going to look into that. Can we early circumnavigate here? We can get a couple old god obelisks mixed with an early circumnavigation. I'd feel okay about that. We're going to want to spam out settlers right away. Government plaza goes down. We spam out a bunch of settlers. We just need to take up space. I'm not going to settle down here first. I'm going to settle over here first. We need to take up this space away from Mongolia. We've met Granada as well. Granada will let us build Alcazars depending on appeal. I mean, we don't have a lot of high appeal stuff. I still don't know if we're going to go Earth Goddess or not. That's a separate thing we got to figure out. I think culture per plantation is good on this map. But Earth Goddess later is going to be ridiculous, I think. Once we can plant woods, Earth Goddess is incredible. I hate my life. The, the turn before I can kill the encampment and a freaking horse has to spawn. Unacceptable. All right, it's settler pumping time. Let's grab Hamiko quick, and then we'll pump out some settlers. Hamiko is too good not to just take, especially because we want to sue so many of these places. I'm thinking Mohenjo's pretty up there. Uh, Geneva's pretty up there. Extra 15% science is always handy. Chandragupta! Yo! What's up, man? How you doing? Um, I'm not going to send a delegation to him just because I want my gold to buy an archer. Or a slinger. Is it still a slinger? I want my gold to buy a unit. Iguana, too. Man, lots of city-states sprawled around right here. Mohenjo's top of the list. Culture city-state that lets you settle not on rivers. Although, how much of a problem is that going to be? It's a pretty non-existent problem. The only option is to settle, like, right in the middle here to get the most out of Mount Vesuvius. It's a pretty non-issue with the water, though. We have lots of it. Maybe I don't care about Mohenjo that much on this map, just based on where we are. Maybe I care more about Granada and Geneva. Getting a getting an early military city-state's not too bad, because we are building a bunch of encampments. Oh, so we've met everyone else. That's everyone else in the game. All right, let's get Hamiko up here first. Do a little bit of uh, destruction of units. There you go. The horseman's gone. Hamiko's going to come up here and help us take this. We got pyramids. Go for the go for the campus. The campus. Actually, you know what? Go for the encampment first, and then the campus. Kill three barbs. That's going to happen. And then let's just rock and roll, baby. 74 turns. Good God. How do we speed that up? Chop this quarry out is how we speed that up. Buy a builder, chop the quarry out. We'll figure it out. Early empire to get settlers quicker. Absolutely. I mean, I'm just going on a settler spree. We got to take up this space. All right, there we are. And we discovered vampires. We're going to go. Oh, do we want vampires, though? Uh, I don't know how much faith we're going to get if we don't take void singers is my issue. But vamp castles are so good. I'd love a good vampire castle, hey? Vampire castles are so good. It kind of depends if we're going culture or domination. We can definitely dominate Tamar. I think we'll be able to dominate Tamar. Oh, this is tough. She has walls, though. Tamar's got some really tough walls to get through. Oh, boy. Okay, culture for plantations. Let's do a quick count one two three four five six seven eight there's enough to make it good but not enough to make it amazing we could also take her to space that's the thing with vietnam is you can kind of do anything this is kind of the pick because if we're going for a culture victory i mean there is appeal around you can plant woods on all these tiles like there's appeal around if you want Earth Goddess. I'm also just more comfortable with Earth Goddess, which does does uh, mean something. I think we have a great Earth Goddess map overall because you can chop all of these rainforests out. So the early cities, we won't be able to chop the rainforests out because we're putting districts on them right away. But in the later cities, once we have medieval fairs, which isn't even too far away, and we can... Just plant woods really nilly. You plant though. You take out the rainforest, plant the woods, and that's how you get your culture, or your tourism rather, and your appeal. The early culture boost is nice, but we're gonna get an early culture boost from building these encampments as well. And I, you know what? I'm gonna go Earth Goddess, and the only reason is this might sound super dumb in retrospect, but bear with me. I don't know if putting what's it called? Um, what are they called? They're in the tree here industries i don't know if putting industries 
do anything to get rid of plantations. I don't know what, like, I don't know what happens to the plantations through monopolies and corporations. So I'm going to go Earth Goddess. It's not going to be great out of the gate here. But also, if we can find some monumentality to go with it. Plus six. It's still already plus six. If we can find some monumentality to go with it, we can buy out our settlers and builders early on. I think it's worth it. You're going to come to Geneva. I'm going to sue Geneva and Granada with Himiko. We also need to buy this tile and chop it, which will cost like 260 gold because we need to buy the builder. Or though it might be more because we already, yeah, 215 because we already have a builder. All right, we'll figure it out. We've done an outstanding job of scouting the map though. Absolutely outstanding job of scouting the map. I feel like I know, I know where everything is. Taruga! Every time I see Taruga, I always think of like one of those like Auga horns. You know the ones. The guy's got 482 Fey. Hopefully he doesn't get monumentality. That'll make me cry a little bit. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> we weren't even close. We weren't even close. All the effort twas for not, for we were not even close. All right, we're gonna hit monumentality though, just with all these suzerain boosts. Once we suze Granada, that'll put us at 25. Well, that's a yikes. Okay, I have to redo all this now. Unless I just want to keep those theater squares there. Build Jebel Bark Hall or something dumb. Jebel? Does Jebel go there? Must be built on desert hills. Oh God. Oh God. Oh dear. Oh me. Oh my. What are some of the other desert wonders? Certainly not putting a Petra there. University of Sankor. Adjacent to a campus with a university. That's lame. It's lame sauce. Oh boy. I still don't hate this. This is a plus one theater square with culture boost from the tile. This is a plus two theater square with culture boost from the tile. The only problem is I almost wish we could... Oh, you know what? Let's move this Than. Oh, that's too much culture you're missing out on, though. So one sec. If I move the Than, we'll lose out on two, four, six, eight, ten culture. I was going to put an entertainment complex here to make the most of that. But that entertainment complex will only give us four, so that's not worth doing. I think I'm going to leave this as it is. The best the best setup was to settle down here when we could, and we went for the pyramids and it didn't work. So now we have a, a non-ideal setup is just how I'm going to think about it. Not going to focus on settlers or builders or anything, though, just because we are going to get them via faith in the next era. We already know this. That's great. When do we unlock the preserve? Mysticism. So we get them like now. We're getting the preserves like right now, hey? Grants up to three housing based on appeal. Culture bombs adjacent neutral tiles and increases their appeal by one. Cannot be adjacent to a city center. Cool. But are they a specialty district? Typically, if they're green, that means they're not. Aqueducts, dams, etc. Let's head to a campus. Does it say specialty district? I suppose we're finding out together. I mean, yeah, let's head down to preserves and check them out. Because if they're not, I'll build a freaking preserve arena right here. Look at that. Get me those preserves. That's going to increase the appeal of all these tiles. And once I get rid of the rainforest, they'll be even better. Yeah. Sign me up for that. If they can go there. I don't know if that's the case. We'll, fit, we'll find out though. Because if it's all, if it's not a specialty district, it also doesn't count towards population limits. We're, we're figuring this out together. You guys probably already know, but I'm literally doing this for the first time. I don't actually need the settler card anymore, which kind of sucks. We'll go production in all cities. Not fighting any barbs, get survey. Because we have lots of scouts. Uh, I certainly want to get the faith ticking up. I'd love to get the sixth culture of science here. I also would really love to get the faith ticking up for next era so we have it ready to go in eight turns to buy settlers 
And it's hard to know exactly which is more valuable right now, because six culture can go a long way. How much faith is that? Oh, I can't do it for six turns. Because I can't have this monument in production. Oh, I really need that faith, though. When's our next governor title? Oh, not too far away, actually. Not too far away at all. Yeah, I can go Pingala for now. That'll be an extra six culture. Very helpful. Yeah, once you add the six culture, it's really not far away. Gonna grab open borders with Chandra Gupta here. I'll pay seven gold for it. It'll make him a little happier. It's nice to have an ally somewhere across the world. Also, I do want to explore his borders. I want to see what people are doing. Same with Scotland. You're, you're not going to hurt me if I give you open borders. So might as well make that trade. One for 30. It's worth it. Um, just so I can kind of scout around in their land and see what's up. So we need, yeah, a couple more turns to Suze Granada. That's fantastic. All right, we're cruising. We're cruising for a bruising. The best neighbors are distant ones. See, India likes us. He's a happy chap. He's a happy chappy. One more turn and we're going to seize Granada. I really need to figure out this. I, I We won't know until next turn. Uh, once I find out what preserves are and how they work, then we'll figure out this city up here because this will be the next one. I mean, you could settle down here. You could settle over here. You could settle up here. I want to take up some of this space. Uh, maybe settling in here is smart. So we're going to figure that out. I do want to start getting the cocoa and the silk though. All right, so now we have the Grove. Grants one food, one faith to adjacent unimproved charming tiles. Oh, that's interesting. So that'll be all of these bad boys. So you kind of want the... You kind of want the preserves to be on their own, hey? So it is a specialty district? I'm a little bit confused. Because it says... Cannot be adjacent to the city center. But it won't let me use this tile. This is not adjacent to the city center. <laughs> editing brad here hello i don't think i've ever cut in mid editing before but i'm just dying of laughter as like watching myself try to figure out why i can't place this preserves down so i just gotta give myself one of these shame thank you now the reason is because we're playing vietnam and vietnam can only place specialty districts on woods rainforest and marsh i was just so caught up in my head about learning about the preserves because i'd never used them before never read the patch notes nothing that i just could not figure it out so enjoy watching me struggle to figure this out for the rest of this video but big brain here i figured it out eventually so is it got to be built on woods that's our new question so it needs to be not adjacent to the city center, but also needs to be on woods or rainforest? Or just rainforest? I wonder if woods count. I kind of want to first science, but you know what? I'm going to first science this. I'm going to save this turn. I try not to do this. I'm going to save this turn. I'm going to buy the tile, see if that counts for preserves, and then reload the, the turn. It does. So woods or rainforest, or probably marsh, or marsh. This is confusing me a little bit. All right, so we can't build it here. That's all we know. Can build it on the woods, and you get extra for the adjacent... Now, is it a specialty district, though? We still don't know that yet. All right, we're back. So the preserve is a specialty district, and it's a specialty district that helps with unimproved tiles and building national parks. So if we build a preserve, it means it takes... It needs population and all of the regular district stuff, like a theater square or a campus and all that. That's all great. But I really want to try these out. So the way the preserve works, especially the district, I still don't understand the placement because even on the Civlopedia and the Civ Wiki, none of it mentions that it needs to be a woods or a rainforest tile. I think I want to buy this tile anyway because it, it improves the appeal of all surrounding tiles, right? And then the, the more unimproved tiles around it, the better. Now I am going to improve this spices tile. So that's a bit of a detractor from it, but I think having one, two, three, four, five unimproved tiles around it should be fine. And because we're here to actually test these things, now, does it go on top of the woods or does it chop them out? God, I'm so confused, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for an early preserves build. Now, if I do this, so it, it uses the woods. So it does need the woods or the rainforest. That makes sense. So that it's not saying that in the wiki or anything, but it does need that. That's good to know. Yo, this VB guy is just getting so confused. I don't know who watches this channel. I don't know who watches these videos, but man, this is hard. This is hard for me to rewatch. 
<laughs> Turns out preserves always look like that. Uh, and that it's not taking the trees through the bottom of the animation because it's woods. That's just what they look like. And it's all because we're playing Vietnam. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm heading straight for uh, Industry Inc., baby. We're taking over the world. I ain't messing around. We do need a trade route, though. I will buy a trade route to boost that. There's the Granada Sues. There's the two error score we need. Awesome stuff. It also allows us to build Alcazars now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's hold up. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this little Sheboygan. Oh, what you doing? Oh, what you doing? All right, all right, all right. Okay. This changes things. I think you sneaky sneak in here. And you just put yourself down right on this sugar. Holy smokes. One, two. Ah, you can grab the sugar from this tile. Maybe you come right here. Yo, we're settling here right away. That's not even a question. That's not even a question. Gold and culture? Any good districts, though? I mean, yeah, a couple right next to us. Uh, volcano, but that's fine. Holy smokes. And some earth goddess tiles? Yep. Yes, 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 yes. And a preserves? I'm gonna put preserves everywhere just to see what they do, man. And a preserve spot? <laughs> All right, we're having fun. Let's uh, let's come settle down here. This is either the best gameplay or the worst gameplay ever, but I'm trying out preserves, goddammit. At the end of the game, I have six science, no campuses, and a hundred preserves. Really, to be fair, I should have given the Diplo Quarter this kind of treatment, because when the Diplo Quarter came out, I was just like, I'm just never building it, and I still don't build it. Sometimes I do, but not often. Sometimes in the Pingala City, I'll do it. Don't need colonization. Don't need any of this. So I think urban planning is fine. I think recon uh, experience is fine. <gasps> I'm in on this. I'm in on this settle right here. Specifically this one. Uh, can I go and take Anshan next? Just for funsies up by, uh, up by Tamar there. Just have a nose around. Just see what's going on. There's a 0% chance the AI accounts for the, the, or there's the woods movement only for military units. For units, sorry. It's not for the settler. The settler doesn't get it. That's fine. Um, I shall be putting down our first Than district. I do want the trader. How much is the trader going to cost me? 200. That's fine. I can afford that. Yeah, let's get down that first Than to get some great general points going. It does still take away appeal though. So I want to put this one down first because I don't want to lose the appeal on this tile, yeah? Or do you want to chuck out a preserve? No, we got to chuck out a preserve. Never mind. You got to preserve. Now, the problem with this preserve is it takes up an earth goddess tile. It makes a couple more, but we're going to be using... You want these to be on tile. You want to build your preserve like here to maximize the unimproved tiles around. But then I can't buy the trader. And we still need the government plaza. This is so dumb. What do the preserve buildings do? One sec. What we're gonna figure this out here. Cause maybe the preserve is a good like third district. All right, we got a grove next. Grants one food and one faith to adjacent unimproved charming tiles. Increase to two food, two faith, and two culture for adjacent unimproved breathtaking tiles. Oh man, I mean, I mean that's pretty good. And there's another building? What happens after a grove? A meadow? A sanctuary. Science, gold to adjacent. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. This is so dumb. Using my first two district slots on an encampment and a preserve in my capital city. I mean, God, I'm insane. I'm insane. You can't slow me down. You can't stop me. I'm going crazy, chat. I'm going absolutely crazy. I think I'd move the campus from here up to here now, though. Definitely. It's not as great. This makes a pretty bad government plaza, then. This makes a pretty bad government plaza, then. We'll have to see. that. I'm putting the preserve. No one's stopping me. No, you can't stop me. I can't stop me. We are preserving everything. God damn it, Sterling. I hate you. Everything shall be preserved. Here the dark brown hey, it's Giant's Causeway. 
Build any district. This is getting boosted. Although I just want to go into this to get void singers right away. So I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm, ju I'm just going to hard deck it. Not ideal, but I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, if you could please come towards the old. This is so good, hey? Now, are preserves something you want to put in every- I don't know, I don't know anything about preserves. I'm gonna- I'm gonna start with our unique district in 100 Games Humble Abode. Yeah, and when the new era starts to get the era score. Alright, tomorrow wants to be friends with us. I say amen to that. Is there anything we can trade you for some cash so I can buy a trade route? She's getting the double bonus here. She's gonna get that, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be trading with her. I think. I will be taking Anne Shan though. There is nothing she can do about that. I mean, she spent all her time building a military. Maybe if she built some freaking preserves. She'd be in a better spot right now. The double early preserve. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I say that at least once a game, but good God, is this not the dumbest thing? Mongolia, Chandragupta, and Golden Ages. I was really hoping he wouldn't be, because he's going to take Monumentality. We are definitely taking Monumentality. We're going to buy some Settlers with Faith this era. We are definitely going into Void Singers. Yep, Monuments are both done. So going to Void Singers gives us plus eight Faith per turn. Good stuff. In terms of government, I think we're still good. Still happy. Yeah, nothing crazy yet. Ooh, all of the friends are being friendly now. Look at that. Uh, excuse me, sir. This is a Wendy's. Can you please leave us alone? This is such a good settle. I'm happy with this. All right, I'm giving you a free kill. I'm giving you a free kill, Scotland. Just take it. Ah, I kicked her out of Anshan. What a loser. What an idiot. Oh, I'm out of charges. So I kicked her out, but I didn't actually take Anshan. Well, that's lame. Might as well scout out the rest of this. This is a fat Petra, though. Just if anyone wants a Petra, that's a fat Petra. Oh, I found one down here. See ya. I'm surprised you didn't just kill him, mate. Come on. I, I that was a, that was what they call a bump set spike. That's exactly what they call a bump set spike in the in the volleyball terms. I'm gonna tech out of currency because I'm gonna buy a trader eventually, one day shortly. We are collecting horses now from a city state. Mayhaps. I'm not sure. Leave the wonder building to you. I'm trying, dude. I'm not trying to build a single wonder. They're yours. I don't know about these preserves. I don't know. We're going to get a couple good earth goddess tiles, though, which is nice. And they're going to culture bomb these tiles, so we'll get them right away. I don't know what I'm doing. Not going to lie. This is a shambles of a game. We're having fun, though. The only preserves challenge will be the next challenge I do. Just no districts. You can only build preserves. I mean, I'll take that deal just to get to a trader quicker. Certainly doesn't help with our amenities, but we'll we'll survive. Oh, I should have gone here. That was my bad. I didn't know where you moved to. Um, where do we want to go for a government? I think I think classical republic. Although we don't have any great person points. We're not building any wonders. Don't yeah, classical republic. I don't like having the red policy slot. We just don't need it. So why have it? Gold from trade routes is probably the best. Yeah, I guess. Charismatic leader. Ooh, we can start getting some great scientist points. I wouldn't mind that. Start zooming up the great scientist world rankings here. This is danger. Near a volcano and everything, but man, if this doesn't hype me up, this extra culture here. You know what? Oh, I need to buy the trader. I want to buy this tile. I do need to buy the trader. You're going to grab a monument right away. I think our next settle can go right here. We still need to settle up here. Yeah, we got cut off from this area. I thought we might. I think this is a fairly safe settle. I'm trying to think of how you district it. You could do some combined districting here, I guess. We're one of them fans right there. A little culture hunting, and then you just shove stuff around it. Just as you went along. You don't really want to be under the volcano. Even then, though, you still have one, two, three districts not under the volcano. The fair campus. The fair commercial hub. Probably a fair theater square. Chuck an entertainment complex right here. I don't know. I don't know exactly how I want to deal with this volcano yet. Maybe get Liang here, but the preserves for sure. You got to get preserves in every city. This is the preserve in every city challenge. I'll do this for a... You know what? Saving this for a quick uh, policy switch would be nice. I know drama and poetry. We're not building a wonder. She's going hard with that military. I don't know what she's planning on doing with it. Not going to lie. I think she's going a bit ham. I'm, I'm a little scared of her. 
I'm a little bit scared. All right, let's grab another settler. 195, and we have 172. All right, we're taking a second here. We're taking a minute. We will grab our settler, though. Gonna be friends with you. Gonna be friends with you. The preserve done? Oh, look at the earth goddess, baby. Are they breathtaking tiles? That's so ridiculous. So these are breathtaking tiles. So if I, if I put this grove in there, I had two food, two faith, two culture for these tiles. I'm in on this in like a strange way where I don't know what's really happening, but I like it. That culture bomb is pretty neato though. Just that, that shoving down that preserves culture bomb is, is awesome. All right, I can buy a settler now, so we're going to do that. Oh, I can buy the trader with 105 faith. I'm going to buy it with gold anyway, though. I want to save my faith for uh, settlers. Absolutely want to save my faith for settlers. All right, we've bought our best friend, the trader, so that's going to boost next turn. We found a barb encampment, and they're being mean to me. Unacceptable. Where do we want to trade first? I think we want to be friendliest with Tamar. I think five, five plus a science. It's not too bad. Money. Now we got the industry. What can I do with that? I gonna, How does the industry work? I want to know. Provides a unique benefit to its city as well as one great merchant point. What does a uh, sugar provide? Is that something we get to be uh, privy to, Sid Meier? I would like to know what districts or what uh, bonuses I get. Ah, you, you, ah, that was rude. What? Why? That was, that was just cruel, really. All right, so if I go here, can I build an industry? Oh, ho, ho, ho! two food, two production, one gold, 20% gold growth, plus three housing in this city. <laughs> oh my goodness industries are ridiculous uh y'all can find me putting an industry on this spices and this silk as soon as humanly possible good golly miss molly that is disgustingly unacceptable i feel that in my bones how unacceptable that was might as well head towards construction we're not building a pasture or getting an iron mine both of which make me at least the slightest bit sad. I'm going to bring Hamiko back, I suppose, to help deal with these barbs. If uh, Hunza can't deal with them. Dong Hoi! Get old god obelisk everywhere. I, I desperately want to buy builders. I'm going to save my faith for settlers because we just need them. But man, if I don't want to buy just straight. There's still so much room to... <gasps> Can we sneak a settle in over here by the double silk? If we buy one in Quang Tree... I shouldn't be allowed to play this game. I have too many stupid plans. All right, we've managed to make everyone happy with us, which is a good start to this game. All right, so they're attempting to deal with it. This is bad timing, though, because I would like... I would like my uh, builder to come do builder things, and he, he cannot. So we're going to get this plantation. What is the industry? What is the industry for spices? I want to know so badly what the industry for spices is. Uh-oh, we're going to have to get some regrowth forest action in here. Oh, you need to have two to form an industry. Sneaky, sneaky, Van Bradley. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I mean, we're going to have eight. Oh my, we have to settle up here. Double silk and double spices. You know what, though? I think it's a great place to end it for this first episode. We started doing things. We're getting our grove in there. We got an industry down. We're playing with all the new things. We got a sweet monumentality golden age. I feel like I'm not doing much this game. We actually have four cities down at turn 61 in a golden age with a government set up. We're, we're progressing along quite quick here. We have a really good amount of culture. I'm not too worried about all or, or at all about how this game is going. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Definitely check out all the links in the description, specifically the ones for the Discord and the Twitch channel. Those are some cool places to hang out. Also, if you want your name on one of these cities, check out the channel memberships link in the description below as well. I can't wait to finish playing this game. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.